Has God ever placed a dream in your heart that right now seems laughable? Maybe you're looking at your current circumstances and are overwhelmed by feelings of powerlessness and disbelief, but I want to encourage you to keep believing God. Keep holding on to faith that the dreams God has placed on your heart will come to pass. He will bring them to pass in your life. I've been in that place a lot, that place of wondering how the dreams and promises God has given me will come to pass. In those times, it was easy to fall into unbelief. I thought God had actually made a mistake because as I looked at myself, my experiences and my flaws, it all seemed impossible. But through His Word, God continued to remind me that He had not made a mistake by giving me a purpose and promises. He showed me that He was in total control of my life and I needed to have faith in Him and not doubt. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 we read, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. God has amazing plans for your life, no matter how impossible it seems right now. Hold fast to the dreams God has placed on your heart, no matter how ridiculous they seem. When you feel like your dreams are hopeless, you need to look away from yourself and instead look to God. In the Bible, we are encouraged to look to Him because that is where our help comes from. I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm chapter 121 verses 1 to 2. When you shift your focus to Him, it's a lot easier to hold fast to the dreams He has given you. When you feel like giving up, I want you to remember Abraham and Sarah. If anyone can relate to having an impossible dream, it's Abraham and Sarah. God told Abraham that he was going to be the father of many nations. When God first revealed his plan and promise, Abraham was 75 years old and his wife Sarah was 65 and unable to have children. Then the Lord said to him, No, your servant will not be your heir, for you will have a son of your own who will be your heir. Then the Lord took Abram outside and said to him, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. That's how many descendants you will have. And Abram believed the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. Genesis chapter 15 verse 4 to 5. To Abraham and Sarah, this dream of having their own child and being the beginning of a large family line seemed unattainable, but he chose to trust God even when the dream seemed so impossible. Maybe you feel like the dream and promise God spoke to you is crazy impossible, but don't give up on it. Don't let doubts and worries become louder than God's voice. Instead, Listen to what God is telling you more and more. God reminded Abraham of his promise at least four times. Sometimes you need to quiet every voice but God's voice. God is the one who spoke your dream into your life. Don't let the other voices that are trying to get you out of faith, trying to get you to stop going after what God has put on your heart, stop you. They need to be silenced. And don't be afraid to ask God for reassurance and to remind you one more time. He loves hearing from you and He loves when you listen to Him. So don't stop believing in the dreams God has placed on your heart. Keep trusting Him even when the fulfillment of your dream and promise seems unattainable. Now let's agree to this prayer. King Jesus, we are so grateful that you have amazing plans for our lives. 
We didn't come into this world by accident or by mistake, but you were very intentional when you created us. And because of that, we trust you to bring to pass the seemingly impossible dream that you have placed on our hearts. It is very clear that we cannot bring it to pass on our own, but you are the God who does the impossible, so we call on you. In your word you declare, Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. Mark chapter 10, verse 27. Lord, sometimes the dreams you place in our hearts seem impossible, laughable even. We look at our current circumstances, our limitations, and our weaknesses, and we wonder how these dreams can ever come to pass. In those moments, Father, we confess that we often fall into doubt and unbelief. We forget that you are the God of the impossible, the one who spoke the universe into existence, the one who raises the dead and gives life to the lifeless. Father, we pray for renewed faith today. Help us to hold fast to the dreams you have given us, no matter how improbable they may seem. Remind us, Lord, that you are in control, that your plans for us are good, and that you are able to bring to fruition every promise you have spoken over our lives. Strengthen our hearts and minds so that we can stand firm in faith, trusting that what you have started in us, you will also complete. We think of Abraham and Sarah, who received an incredible promise from you. Despite their advanced age and the impossibility of their situation, they chose to believe in your word. They trusted that you were faithful to fulfill your promises. Help us to emulate their faith, Lord. When we are tempted to give up, remind us of their story and the countless other stories in the Bible where you made the impossible possible. Your word in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Lord, it's so hard at times to remain in faith. We bring to you our concerns and worries regarding how you will come through for us, how you will bring to pass the impossible dreams you have placed in our hearts. We are comforted knowing that you don't get mad when we bring our worries and fears to you. You don't ignore us when we are anxious. Your arms are wide open to us as we come to you. You are not a God of coincidence. You know everything about us. You have given us dreams and promises knowing our qualifications, our skills, our past, our every thought and our weaknesses. And yet, you still want us to be the one to bring the dream to life. You handpicked us to be the ones to carry the specific dreams you placed on our hearts. You could have chosen a better qualified person but you chose us, and we are so grateful for that. We are humbled because of the love and grace you show us in doing that. In Romans chapter 8, verse 31, it says, What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Lord, we bring our doubts and fears to you. We lay them at your feet, knowing that you care for us and that you understand our weaknesses. Comfort us with your presence and reassure us with your word. Speak to us, Father, and remind us of your promises. Help us to hear your voice above all others, silencing the voices of doubt, fear, and unbelief. We ask for your guidance and wisdom as we pursue the dreams you have placed on our hearts. Show us the steps we need to take, the doors we need to knock on, and the opportunities we need to seize. 
Grant us the courage to take bold steps of faith, trusting that you are with us every step of the way. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. James chapter 1 verse 17 Lord, your ways are higher than our ways, and your timing is perfect. Help us to wait with hope and expectation, knowing that you are working all things together for our good. In moments of waiting, may we draw closer to you, deepening our relationship with you and growing in our trust and dependence on you. Father, we declare that we will not give up on the dreams you have placed within us. We will trust in you, no matter how impossible the fulfillment of these dreams may seem. We will hold fast to your promises, believing that you are faithful to do what you have said. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us and for entrusting us with these dreams. We are humbled by your love and grace, and we are confident that you will bring to pass every good thing you have planned for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.